Hi, my name is Norm Hall with the R. L. Detman Company. Today this short video will explain to engineers and plumbing contractors the sizing of thermal expansion tanks in plumbing systems, which are also known as water heater expansion tanks. Detman is the manufacturer's representative in Northern Ohio and Michigan for Bell & Gossett a Xylem brand. B&G provides both ASME and non-code thermal expansion tanks. The purpose of a thermal expansion tank is to manage the system pressure when heating water during periods of no use on systems where there's a check valve or backflow preventer in the cold water main. Today, we will use B&G's online sizing program to select a tank. You can access the B&G program through our website at depman.com. You can also learn more about the theory and formulas behind selections in our Monday morning minutes, which are also available on the website. So we've opened up the selection program and you can see that it defaults to pump selections. If we navigate to the left and click expansion tanks we can then pick potable water expansion. You'll notice that the information required for selection shows up. Let's start with the fill temperature. The default is 40 degrees as the coldest water the system would ever see. Since we are in Michigan and Ohio, we're going to leave it at 40 degrees. Next is the maximum temperature of the system, and we're going to go ahead and change this for this example to 140 degrees. The tank pressure is really the static pressure you expect in the system. This is also going to be the air side pressure setting that the plumber should adjust during installation. For this example, we will use 50 pounds. The next pressure in the system is the pressure that you would ever want the system to get up to when we're heating the water. Let's use 100 pounds. Finally, we need the system volume. You could select it and put it in yourself, or we can use this handy calculator. Today, let's go ahead and use the calculator. Let's make an assumption that the water heater has 200 gallons of storage. And let's look at the piping volume, and let's assume that uh, oh, we have uh, 100 feet of 3 inch. And let's go ahead and pick uh, 200 feet of inch and a quarter. And let's go ahead and put 500 feet of 3 quarter inch, just as an example. We'll come down to the bottom. We'll select Commit. And at that point, we have everything we need. The only other thing here is the atmospheric pressure, which we'll leave at 14.7. Let's click Get Results. we can see a number of tanks and in this particular case we will select a single tank quantity of one and we're going to go with an ASME Bell & Gossett PTA 30V and we'll select that model. At this point if you look on the right we can add it to a schedule we can change it we can print documents such as the submittal or the O&M manual. And that's really it. Here's an example of the submittal that can be downloaded from the program. You should now have a new tool to assist you in plumbing designs. Thank you for your business and specification of Bell & Gossett products.